going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. Today we are going to be taking an in-depth look at the newly released as of July of this year LEGO Ideas Hocus Pocus set. This is of course based off of the Sanderson Sisters Cottage and let me tell you I had a blast building this. I think the set looks very detailed from all angles and it's just a fantastic set and I'm really excited to give my in-depth analysis of it. So first thing is first, this set does currently retail for $230. It is a Lego exclusive and it comes with 2,316 pieces, nine minifigures. If you count the skeletons that are included, you get three of them and the set is divided into two main sections. The first one we'll look at is actually the first thing that you build in this set and it is the gated entrance to the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. It's very nice though, also kind of simple. We do have these uh, sticker pieces representing the Sanderson Sister S emblem, and then we have this closed sign in front of the gate. Also a nice detail, we have Thackeray Binks, and you can see some paw prints leading up towards the gate as he is guarding it. Also towards this side, we're able to see some green vines as well as these jumper plates. We'll get into what those do later, and there's some autumn leaves sprinkled around here, and I really do like this tree build. It's very simple. Here is what it looks like from the back, and you can even see there is a small barrel here as well too, and there's various leaves on the tree and on the ground too. On the other side, that's probably the more interesting out of the two, there's some more vines and then some more plates that we'll get into later. And then you're able to see there's a small graveyard, which looks really nice. All of these are stickers. And here's a better look at the headstones. I really like the details with these. I do really wish we got the zombie minifigure included too, but that's another rant for another day. And you're able to fold the front gate like this too. But what this also doubles as is a minifigure stand for the figures included as you can place them on the jumpers like this and it's a really nice added feature. We've got the three protagonists as well as Thackeray Binks and then on the other side we have plates for the Sanderson sisters that you can display them on. Also, obviously you are able to open up the gate too like this and it looks very nice but Let's go ahead and get into the part everybody cares about, which is the actual Sanderson Sisters Cottage. And let me tell you, there are just so many details that we're going to get into. First off, we're going to look at the front entrance here. It's very detailed. I really like the Sanderson Sister Witch Museum. That is a sticker piece. And then we also have off to the side this little punishment. I don't know what it's called, but nice little side build. We've got some windows, some pumpkins, and I really like the stones leading up to the front door as well as the steps there. And then there's some nice pieces used for the guardrails. Also, there's some more plants and some more autumn leaves off to the side. There's a printed tree stump piece, and then all the way to the side, we've got some pumpkins. The front door is a sticker, and there are actually stickers on both sides of it, and then we also have some windows as well as a lamp. And then as we move into the second floor, I really like the greebling that they have on the outside. The roof especially looks nice with all of the crooked boards here, and then there's some window pieces too. Here is a better look at both sides of the door. Again, both of these are sticker pieces, unfortunately, but they do look pretty nice. I just wish it was a print. And then we also have this nice lantern up on the uh, front of the cottage. Next off to the side, this is probably my favorite out of all of the exterior details. That is the right side of the cottage. We've got more of these vines. I really like this. We've also got some water down by the little water wheel. I don't think that's what it's called, but that's what I'll call it for this review. And it looks really nice. I like the green that they add to this. So it's not just like one tan color and you can see the vines kind of continue upwards to the sides here attached via snot bricks. Here's a better look at that wheel that I mentioned earlier. It's a very nice build. It uses some guardrail pieces to get that kind of circular piece. And what's really cool about this is you can actually rotate the wheel. And this is one of the coolest play features, in my opinion. As you rotate it, you can see that the fire in the chimney actually moves up and down and rotates side to side a little bit too. And it looks really cool. I love those pink fire elements. And then we've also got the second floor roof here, which looks really nice. It adds some depth to the side. And then I also really like the chimney too. It uses the medium stone gray as well as the dark gray here too and it looks very nice. The roof is also very detailed too. They do a really great job at accomplishing this kind of weathered look. It's built on this dark brown plate and then you add these gray tiles to the top of it to kind of give off the old weathered look because the Sanderson sister cottage is about 300 years old and they do a great job at uh, making it look like it's actually old and it does have some green leaves on it too. Once we look at the back here, 
obviously not nearly as detailed as the front because you're not really looking at it, but there is some terrain off to the side. I really like all of the orange leaves and the green vines that we have, and it still does look great. It's just very simple. Towards the roof, we've got some of these uh, curved pieces to have some depth and also show some wear and tear. This is, again, a very old cottage. Off to the side here, this is the last thing you build. It's a small side build for the house, and it's uh, very small. We've got some vines here and some uh, other details off to the side. We've got some more tiles sticking out, and I really do like the roof that they do for this. And there is a small chimney included too. From the front, you're able to see some more masonry bricks, and you can also see a window. And then the roof is identical to the side we just looked at. Also on top of here, we have this other roof element. I do like the other side better, but this one does still look really great. It's got some more of those weathered uh, tiles and it looks really great. I think they did a fantastic job with it. And what's cool about this is you were able to lift it up like this to get a better look at the interior. Also, you can remove this other side part for the cottage to get a better look at the interior. And then finally, you are able to open up this back wall to better highlight the interior. The first part of the inside that we're gonna look at is of course the last thing you build, which is the small side room. You're able to fold up the roof like this, just like you could with the main cottage to get a better look inside of here. We've got this nice little seat where we can put Danny Dennison on and it looks great. The uh, seat actually has a sticker piece on it too, which is a nice little detail. And there's tons of small little, uh, just like details inside of here. I really like the hourglass and the, the candles too. And the fireplace looks nice. We can see a cauldron above the fire for the potion that the sisters are brewing. And then there is a small little side build off to the side there. It's a, it uses a sticker piece. And overall, this does look really great. There are some Technic pins that allow for you to connect this to the main section of the cottage, which is nice. And then now let's take a look at the main part of the interior here. It looks really great. Although my one complaint is once you finish building it, it's kind of hard to see inside here, but we do have the black flame candle off to the front here, which looks nice. And then we also have the cauldron. That is the uh, potion that these sisters are brewing. And what's really cool about this is there is this small Technic piece down here. And what you can do is you can actually light up the fire underneath the cauldron looks looks really nice i always love when they incorporate the light bricks in the set and the potion is made up of these ice cream pieces too in the kind of lime green color and then we also have the book with the please do not touch sticker off to the side and this is in a glass case but you can lift it up to access the book this is uh used uh this is made with sticker pieces not prints and it's kind of disappointing there's no like eye opened sticker for it. It's just the closed eye for the front of the monster book. And then inside, this is a printed piece, however, it is the uh, spell that turns Thackeray Binks into the cat at the uh, start of the movie. As we look inside the interior, it's really hard to see inside here. That's my biggest complaint with it, but there's tons of little trinkets here. We've got like a candle and some other potions and what I would imagine to be ingredients uh, for the potion that they brew at the start of the movie and at the end of it too. There's tons of shelves inside as well, but again, it's really annoying how you can't really see inside here. It's hard to get some light in it, but here's a better look at it from the uh, roof here where we have the panel that opens up. Also, we have Winnie's uh, brew broom on uh, the wall here, and then we've got a nice little chandelier with some candles on it, and then there is a spider web attached to this wall over here, and then there is also the front counter as this also doubles as a museum. There's various souvenirs and gifts on the uh, side of the shelf here, and it looks really nice, though it is kind of hidden away, but it does look great. I like the classic skeleton skull on it. It looks amazing. And then we also transition into the second floor with these stairs, which is, they're actually attached to a ladder piece, which I have not seen before. And then on the second floor by the window, we're able to see one of three skeletons that is included in this set. And there's a few other candles off to the side here too. If we take a look at the roof, we're able to see another spider web with a spider on this one. And one of my favorite interior details, we have these two cages with the other two skeletons that you get inside of the set. And there's also a bat. What's cool is you're able to like swing the cages around too to kind of like add to that like kind of spooky atmosphere effect as they're very loose but they they don't fall off but they are able to swing around they're also this uh printed one by three tile representing a wood plank and there's another bat on top of the sanderson sisters bed the bed looks really cool though it is hard to see i like how each sister has their own kind of corresponding bed sheets it looks really nice and here's what the front of it looks like and then here's a better look it's like a kind of an overtop view 
of the second floor. It's very small, but it does look really nice. Off in this corner here, we have a broom inside of here, and then there's some books on the bookshelf as well too. And then we can also see the vacuum and the mop that Sarah and Mary use to fly around. And then there is a candle on the other side of the bed, and then there's a sticker piece on the wall, though it is very hard to see it once this is all built up, but it does look really nice and it does add some details to the interior here. Here is one final look at everything you get inside. They did a fantastic job with the interior details. It's just a shame that you can't really see them too well once you finish off the set. They do give you several little access holes so you can see inside of it, but I just wish it was easier to kind of take the second floor off so you could see the inside a bit better. And it still is good. That's like my only big complaint with the set, but it's still a fantastic set. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the minifigures of this set. We get six exclusive minifigures inside of this if you don't count the skeletons, and all of the minifigures included look really detailed. It's funny how accurate they are able to get the faces to the actual characters in the movie. Here are the alternate faces and the uh, back prints for some of the minifigures, and then here are uh, all of the alternate faces for the minifigures included. Everybody has two faces. A lot of these face prints are exclusive, except for the one for Danny and Allison. Those are both reused, but let's get into the value of these figures. Sarah and Mary go for around $14 to $13 each. Winnie is the most expensive out of the three. She goes for about $17 in the United States. And then we now move on to Max and Allison. Max goes for about nine and Allison goes for around the same. And then we move into Danny who goes for about 13 and Thackeray Banks is around seven. And in total, that is about $83 in the United States. So the minifigures do make up a decent amount of that $230 price tag, but they aren't as expensive now as I probably imagined them to be. I, I bet when this set retires, they'll probably increase in value a lot, but they are just an added bonus to this. I think this set stands alone as a fantastic LEGO idea set and just a great LEGO Halloween set too. The minifigures are great, but the actual build of the cottage is even better in my opinion. I really like the kind of rustic and worn down look it has to it, and it fits in really well with any of the other LEGO Halloween sets that they have released over the years. As you can see, I've got mine kind of displayed next to the Monster Fighters Haunted House, and I think they complement each other very nicely on display. I imagine if you get the LEGO Creator one that's out right now, it would go well with that, but this set is great. I give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason it's a 9 out of 10 is because the interior is kind of hidden once you finish the set, but apart from that, I think they knocked it out of the park. It's a great set to add to your collection, but definitely let me know what you think of this down in the comments. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.